Um, I mean, running the ball down anybody, no matter who it is. It's, it's a pretty cool thing to do as an offensive lineman. So, I enjoyed it. Did you know kind of going in that that was going to be the plan, or did that sort of happen to you? I mean, you expect it, kind of. You want to expect it every draft, but uh, I, I didn't know, no. Uh, we, I mean, we always know, like, you know, the first two or three plays. Uh, but, you know, off, you get off schedule sometimes, and then you just got to kind of roll with it. But I really enjoyed that drive. What do you think of Anthony's performance? He did really well. I mean, uh, I'm not sure what, what, does anybody know how much he exactly ran for? Over 130. Over 130? Well, hell yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, he, did, he did a really good job. I mean, uh, he's improved so far, and we all got a lot to improve on still, too. I mean, there were some mistakes that we can't do, but uh, I, I'm really proud of him. On that drive, you guys went to that general package mm -hmm. just talked about that. How much confidence do you guys have in running that set right now? I mean, <laughs> as an offensive lineman, it's always fun to have another offensive lineman on the field. So uh, the jumbo package is, is amazing for us. Like, uh, we have somebody that is in our room all the time anyway. Um, and so, like, with Teddy going in or Justin or whoever, whoever it is, um, when, whenever they go in, you know, they, it's just an extra, bo uh, extra body blow against the defense. So, What kind of development have you seen out of Heinrich or anything that he's seen that stood out to you from last week to this? The way he carries himself has been the same. It, it, it sounds like it's not an improvement for anybody, but it really is. Because uh, it doesn't matter who you play, it doesn't matter how you play, you need to be the same way. It's not, not a lot of up and, up and downs, it's not a lot of you know, emotional highs and emotional lows. He's very, very consistent with who he is as a person. And I really, really like having, uh, you know, th the whole QB room is like that. You know, it's not, it's not, not just him. It's, it's Jeff, it's Chuba, it's, uh, it's Luke, it's Jack, it's all of them. You know, they're all, they're all people that like, they're very, very consistent in who they are as a person. And, uh, you know, having somebody behind us that is like that helps us out a lot too. So. How does Heinrich's ability to run not only open it up for the running back, but just open up the offense in general? It's, it's another thing the defense has to account for. You know, um, if you have somebody that can run behind you uh, and throw and give it to somebody else to run as well, that's three things you have to account for in every single play. And that doesn't matter what the formation is. It doesn't matter who's back there. If you have to expect that every single play, it's a lot of, a lot of things that goes on the defensive mind. And I mean, as a defense, you don't want that. You don't want to have somebody that can run, that can throw and can uh, hand the ball off and like, you know, like be, be a threat in every single phase of the game. So uh, it's always nice to have, uh, have, have, you know, that, that ability, you know, so. Were you in on the big field goal? I was, yes. What did you think of that call, <laughs> how it was executed, how it came together? It, Timmy almost had it. <laughs> Timmy, Timmy almost had it. Um, I, I mean, obviously we wish he would have scored. But uh, it's it's an amazing experience. I, I don't think I've ever been a part of a thing. So I really really no never not not here not at my old school. It's just I <laughs> really enjoyed that. Do you have to like make sure you don't give it away like before the snap. Of course, I mean yeah, so it's, you got yeah, that. But that's with every play. You know, every play you got to look the same. Every stance has to look the same. Doesn't matter if you're on a pass and a, uh, and a run. Doesn't matter if it's outside zone, inside zone, tight zone. Uh, and it doesn't matter where, how, how you set, you know, the, all, every single stance has to look the exact same. And so, um, it's on field goal, too. <laughs> I mean, yeah. How have the last few games been for you, you know, just being in Memorial Stadium, mm -hmm. considering the fact that, you know, last year you just couldn't just experience, like, that atmosphere yeah. of playing in front of these fans? Um, I just might, this might hurt some people a little bit, but I personally do – it's it's a field, you know. Like yeah. I, I love the fans. I love that like there's you know the support on defense when when it's loud as hell and you can't hear anything. Um, I love that. Don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, you're still you're still playing somebody. You're, play, you're playing somebody in front of you. You know, you're not you're not playing with the fans. You're not playing against the fans. You're playing against the person in front of you. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't you know faceless, nameless opponent. But uh, at the end of the day, you're still playing against somebody in front of you. So, I. Like I said, don't get me wrong. I love the atmosphere. You know, the the drone show last week was insane. I, I really enjoyed it. But uh, like I said, at the end of the day, you're still playing against the guy in front of you. So, it's 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 the Memorial Stadium. Some some different though. I uh, would 100% say that. Got a couple hey, guys talk about the final five that you mm -hmm. guys did over the summer. Can you see that training paying off here in the first few games where you're really closing points on? I wouldn't only say final five. I mean, all the all situations. You know, the the middle eight, the final five, two minute, four minute. You know, all the situations. Third down, first down, 
situations and all different situations that you have to account for and you have to win to win the game you know and at the end of the day as long as in those situations you have one more point than the, uh, than the opponent you win the situation you win the game so uh, 100% yeah I mean that's how we won the game so what are your impressions just on Michigan uh, we looked at the start of Big Ten play as well uh, I have not looked at them at all so I I, it's it's one and zero every week, so uh, we'll start with them probably on Monday uh, or Tuesday. Well, well after, after this game, we still got, we still got to look at uh, how we did this game. So um, yeah, just whoever we play, doesn't, doesn't matter who we play. Okay. All right. Thank you.